All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Detroit Lions in today's video. Folks, yesterday, 20-16 to 16 home loss against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Detroit Lions will be just fine. The only issue they have currently is red zone efficiency. And we're two games into the season, but like defensively, Aiden Hutchinson, Brian Branch, this is quickly becoming one of the better defenses in the National Football League. You just played against the Rams, and now you just played against Tampa. I mean, these are two playoff teams. Or I'm a little bit worried about the Rams with all these injuries, but last year, these were two playoff teams. You held the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to 185 passing yards. You held them to 70 rushing yards on 23 attempts, averaging three yards per carry. You held the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense to a 2-10 and 10 on third down conversions. But once again, the only reason this score was 20-16 to 16 is because Detroit was 1-7 in the red zone. I mean, this could have actually been a huge shootout football game. And one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video is because it's week two, right? The overreactions from week one are over for, you know, every team in the NFL or every team that lost week one in the NFL. And, you know, I saw this article on The Athletic from Colton Pouncey, and it, it was titled this, it's too early to worry about the Lions offense, but this group feels off compared to a year ago. And he made it some really good points in it. And we're going to get to the first half end of the first half debacle in just a second here but like Detroit last season obviously like completely different expectations this year as opposed to last year you started it off in Arrowhead against the Kansas City Chiefs the defending Super Bowl champion and won it but like just for some context here the offense one year ago like in the first month of the season it was not that crazy efficient it, it really wasn't. We're going to get to that in just a second. Before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, as well as a ton of Lions videos every single week. Lions fans, hope you're doing good today. Uh, that loss just hurt. It was not a good loss, but it's week two. And um, if we're trying to get this video to 200 likes, folks, that would mean the absolute world to me. I just want to go back to last year. This time one year ago, the Detroit Lions lost at home to the Seattle Seahawks in overtime, right? Crazy game, 31 to 37, like, you know, very different offensive production game. But like for some context here, week three was against the Atlanta Falcons. That was a really bad offensive football game. All right, Jared Goff, 22 to 33, 243 yards, a touchdown and an interception. He had a quarterback or a QBR of 59.6. Uh, they only averaged 3.7 yards per carry. David Montgomery did not play in that football game. But like up until the fourth quarter, I think the score was like 10 to 6. Like it's it takes a little bit of time to get the efficiency, to get the effectiveness, uh, to get all of the, the timing right. It takes a little bit of time. And, you know, one thing Detroit needs to get back into, I think we all can agree, is the running game. And especially when you're in the red zone, the running game... Like David Montgomery was huge in overtime one week ago, but he like his last carry from the Rams game was like 12 minutes left in the third quarter and he didn't get a touch until the end of the game. And that's just like yesterday, 11 carries, 35 yards and a touchdown for David Montgomery. You know, Detroit ran the ball 27 times, but Jared Goff threw the ball 55 times. Like folks, this Detroit easily could have put up 30 plus in yesterday's game. Detroit's now 0-3 when Jared Goff has 50 or more passing attempts in a game. But it, it, it's just, it takes some time for the glue to come together. And I just, you know, even the Tampa game from last season, what was that, week six, I believe, Detroit in Tampa took them down 20-6. to six. Um, It was a terrible rushing game. Like, Detroit with Jameer Gibbs did not play in that game, actually. David Montgomery, six carries, 14 yards. Detroit as a unit ran the ball 22 times for a whopping 40 yards. 1.8 yards per carry. So my point just is the group doesn't necessarily feel off to me from a year ago. Uh, if Detroit had won this game, you know, if Jared Goff had gone down the field and they scored a touchdown in either of their two possessions with like less than three minutes to go, like that's how good this defense really was yesterday. Baker did do his thing in the first half. Um, and Baker looked solid, but Baker didn't do anything crazy. Detroit just kind of kept shooting themselves in the foot here. And so everyone's kind of using that, um, you know, end of the first half. Dan Campbell, like, took the blame 
or the entire loss because of how the first half ended. And here's how it went. Detroit was moving down the field. Uh, they wanted to add some points at, you know, before halftime. And there were 18 seconds left and they had a completion to Amon Ross St. Brown, but he was inbound. So the clock kept running. Detroit obviously had no timeouts. So the Lions went to spike the ball and stop the clock with a few seconds left, you know, in the half to kick the field goal, right? The field goal unit rushed onto the field as the ball was snapped. So there's a 12 man on the field penalty. It's kind of like 20 men. Um, and people keep using that as, you know, an issue. Like that's why Detroit lost folks. When you have seven red zone opportunities, the reason you lost the football game is not because of how the first half ended. It did not help. Um, it would have changed a lot of things had it have been a three point game, obviously in that fourth quarter, you just need a field goal. You don't need these touchdowns, but it, it just, Dan Campbell is who he is, and he's a high-risk, high-reward type of coach, and I just like that fake punt on your own 20-yard line. I mean, that was crazy. That was ballsy, but I love it. I, I don't think Dan Campbell needs to change anything. Um, you know, we go back to that game last year against San Francisco in the conference championship, and it's like, it's just the way it goes sometimes, right? Detroit recorded 463 yards of offense. They only had 16 points. I mean, that's like really difficult to do. One of seven in the red zone. Now, real quick on a couple of things. Jameson Williams looks like the real deal. And we knew Jameson Williams was going to be the real deal, but he like just truly looks like it two games into the regular season. Um, I want to see more Jameer Gibbs. He had seven catches for 22 yards, but... You know, Ben Johnson's going to craft something up to uh, have that change because Jameer Gibbs is way too good of a receiving running back, way too good playmaking wise to have 3.1 yards per catch. Uh, but he had a really good rushing game, 13 carries, 84 yards, averaging 6.5 yards per carry. Sam Laporta, there were a couple of plays where Sam Laporta was like clearly wide open. He's on my fantasy football team, so I was keeping a close eye on it. Levante David is one of the best pass defender linebackers in the national football and it's the same kind of thing with the rams week one like they just have really good both the two teams you've played have really good linebackers who can defend the pass with the running backs like that's just how it is levante david like we know who he is he's a freaking stud he's an underrecognized stud over in tampa but i want to see more laporta especially in the red zone i want to see way more rushing especially in the red zone and that's stuff that will be solved really quickly like we're two games into the year Detroit was one and one at this time last season like I'm not freaking out I don't think the offense or the group seems different than it was last season I think it's just week two of the regular season all right so that's it for me uh that defense man maybe we'll talk about it in a whole video as the week goes on ran out of time I wanted to talk about that offense and that loss but thank you guys for watching hit that like button hit that sub button the Detroit Lions would be perfectly fine. Give me any thoughts, uh, concerns, anything you got to say about that game yesterday down below. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you in a couple of days. But thank guys for watching. That's all I got. Peace.